Man, welcome back to 32 Fur TV, man. Who we got in the building? This is! Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. This is uh, it's the Gymster. You know, uh, Jimmy Lee. Uh, SC's cousin, you know. In this bitch, man, right now, man. Y'all in my shit, right now. Oh, but you ain't really here, so you can't really smoke. <laughs> So Jimmy Lee, like, man, for the people who don't know, you know what I'm talking about, hey, for the people who, you know what I'm talking about, lacking and shit like that, man, like, who is Jimmy Lee, man? Talk to him. Shit. Look, man, I'm a, I'm a alternative trap conscious artist. I rap and I sing. Um, but I'm a real man, realist, humanist. Um, your neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been out. I'm just like you. Shit. Trying to get on whatever dream you chasing, shit. I'm chasing mine, so to the top we go. Okay, okay, okay. So Jimmy Lee, like, man, where you from? Like? The A64. A64? <laughs> I said that shit like Brian Gumbel, nigga. Y'all know what's going on, man. The birds. I'm heard, to be exact, I'm from the age. A whole lot of Highland shit going on, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm from. But then I can't just say that, because. I'm also from the west, and I'm also from the north, and I'm also from the south, so I'm just a Spombird baby, bro. Yeah, 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 Spombird baby. So, like, like how it is going up in Spombird, like, is it what they really, you know what I'm saying, say it is, like, you know? Man, look, I hood ain't no different from nobody else here, but yet again, I hood is different from everybody here. I ain't, I don't know. No spontaneous I can go to. I don't know no Highland I can go to. I don't know no North Side I can go to. No Lakeview. Shit, I don't know no, no Oakview. No North Side, no side, no, none of that. I haven't been to a lot of hoods, but ain't none of them got that feeling like ours. Maybe it's just because it's ours, because I'm from, but it's just something about this shit. She got a different energy. So I shit, man, they know what I shit raised off of. Don't come down here lacking. Don't come out here capping. Don't come out here with that bullshit. Cause we already got them and they probably gonna like yank your ass and pull it to be tread. So but you know if you chilling and you just keeping shit G just trying to get on through, you gonna have a great motherfucking time. Cause we plenty of ass, plenty of cash, plenty of shit that's gonna last, so Okay, okay, look shit. He just Told everything about Spawnberg, you know what I'm talking about? Spawnberg, baby, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Jimmy Nick Neutron, you know what I'm saying? Head tight nigga, you know what I'm saying? We yeah, like, man, hey, like, <coughs> shit, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you're rapping and everything, like, what really made you start doing music? Well, I mean, I was, I was about seven. I was, um, I had already, like, you know, doing a little dumb shit, like, I ain't gonna say dumb shit, we're doing this shit like, you know, writing poetry, writing little snippets, little songs, remixing, like shit like, I might hear something off Sesame Street and remix it, something off Barney and remix it, so, I guess music and it just kind of grew on me, like, you know, watching all them rappers do all this shit, listening to Outkast, listening to Slick Rick and storytelling, like, that shit just grew on me, before you know it, man, I started kicking my own bars, rapping about school lunch, rapping about books, rapping about girls, rapping about my street, my block, and it just got bigger and bigger and better, and now we here. Okay, okay, so, like, you know what I'm saying, like, who, like, what rappers, like, today, you know what I'm saying, like, it could be locally, you know what I'm saying, in the industry, like, who you kind of, like, look up to, like, you be, like, I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, for I the fuck, music. I fuck with a lot of them. I fuck with a lot of, I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of artists, a lot of R&B singers, a lot of hip hop artists I fuck with locally and worldwide. But if I gotta say they was mentors to me in the game, it'd, it'd be artists like Andre, Pop, definitely. And he died when I was young. I didn't even really get to, you know, I guess, cherish the moment, kind of, you know, dwell in that anguish with the rest of the world. My Tupac really nips it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, but yet, still, Tupac and Biggie, the OGs. You know, it's a couple, it's a couple of them that came to the new way that I, that I started rocking with, like Luda. I rock with a little bit of him, 
just cause of his freedom. Yeah. Like, like how he got to speak, you know what I'm saying? Other than, you know, forever. But if I had to say just three, Andre, definitely. The whole group as a whole. Can I count yeah. it as a whole? Yeah. Just went on and did right. So I say Andre Wu Tang, well, Outcast Wu Tang, the DMX. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. gonna throw DMX in there like that? Shit. Yeah, niggas say what they want to say. I don't give a fuck about that nigga staying wherever he stayed at down here. That was just one out of his nine houses. They just show niggas how, how really slow they really is. Yeah. Nigga think a uh, multi millionaire really broke. Yeah, and he really, you know, that ball stuff. You know what I mean? ain't gonna do you like that, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> see. But to see that nigga, like, just to, that nigga made an album break. And the album we caught this shit is dark and the hell is hot. And that shit didn't just influence me musically. Nigga, that, that shit was. That shit got in my soul, bro. That shit had me out here putting on masks and shit. I had got you know, feeling like I was untouchable. <laughs> like, for real. And I, I felt, cause, I, cause deep down, man, I could feel that nigga pain. I felt this suffering. And I liked it. I liked that the nigga could put, they. They motherfucking anguish on the track and make you feel it from the beginning over to the end. So yeah, hell yeah, definitely DMX, man. Definitely on that top so, dude. So 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 you go belly the movie. What? Belly the movie because that nigga really like that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga really that nigga bro. Like I swear. Short, I mean, I had I done had one conversation with him. It was in M. I was on it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was high high. And that nigga was spitting that game and shit, man. I just got caught up in the moment because the nigga started keeping shit so G and so thorough, man. He just forgot that nigga was DMX. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He just started acting like he was my uncle and shit. Like, nigga, fuck them niggas. Nigga, listen, you gonna make it. You're like, you gonna be alright? You gonna have a man? You gonna... What I'm telling you is, Fuck them niggas though. Like, <laughs> so it was like, I was like, hell yeah, nigga, fuck them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro. There you go. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You kind of like still a local artist, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't like to look at you like that, put that label on you. But at the same time, you done done some, some major, you know what I'm saying? Big boy type stuff. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah. yeah. It just you did the song with Rennie Root. Right, right, right. Like, right. like, like. My guys. How, how, Rennie. How did it come up like how did it come across? I now before Rennie even took off, like how she took off, major shout out to the Queen. Fuck with you long way. Like, I had already um followed her on Instagram. She followed me back. She was like one of the first verified chicks to follow me back. Yeah. Right? Where? Like, hey, yeah. Like, hey. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, hell yeah, nigga. And she from SC, so I'm really like double hair, yeah, like, alright. Bang. She ended up um saying she came to Greenville. My manager was so happy to have a dope ass event kind of, but he didn't have no opening. But he had a man event. He was thinking about uh, going to holler on um, Black Sack. He was gonna call it DZ. He was going like he was skipping over everybody who had ring. And at the time, Rennie was really got an arrow shooting up and shit. Yeah. She like got so much shit she about to do. So I'm like kind of nudging him a little bit, like, and, you know, it's a party. You know, I already got a whole bunch of you know bad bitches already coming through dancing and getting yeah. on holes and shit. I get one of the baddest bitches in the state, you know what I'm saying? And she grabbed so he was like, who? I'm like, who? Let me see the phone. Have my phone. Oh, definitely. Boom, boom, she comes through. She tear this bitch down. Like, I'm talking about she got all the, all the females in Gravis. And Gravis is like the biggest club. At the time in our city, yeah. so that shit is like pack, pack, like car, nigga like, outside, so she tan this bitch up. That's what she did to all uh, the freestyle over the own. Um, what beat was it? Uh, I want to say, little baby. 
I think yeah. she did little baby shit. She murdered that shit. So she did that. All the people rocking. She get off the stage. I walk up to her and she was like, Yo, we need to stick together, you gotta lock in, so why you ain't big came over? So it just made me feel like she was a big sister. So I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know, I, you know, I didn't know how celebrities are. She was like, Yeah. She was like, Look, we in this together, we fighting, we said, It's a thing, bro. So by now, bro, it's like, we chilling until the pitch, we got locked in. See, you better than me, man. I would have been like, Yeah, we, we really in this together. Yeah, I love you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Nah, <laughs> nah, see, I ain't no fool, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the. Like once you once you lock in, you better stay locked in. Don't do no dumb shit. So you know I'm married, and my wife was there. So she introduced herself to my wife. They had a, they was talking too. So yeah, like I told you, she was like family. So we locked in, shit going. Um, about two three weeks later, I'm in Atlanta at UED Studio, recording the shit, mocking me. And I had just dropped it on the track with Juicy Fruit, and was about to do a song with Joel. I was about to do the shit with King. And we had just about to wrap up the mixtape. So Sky Beats was in there car and he was like, Yo, I got this dope ass beat. He was like, um, you didn't think about any collabs. I'm like, yeah, I don't think about collab with do some ring. Like, Cause I had already sung her like a, a snippet or something. And she was like, that's a I don't like a I Yeah. And what a I so like, you send me a I I feel like you saying really, ah. Nah, I get the fuck out of my face. I mean, you know, I already, I'm already looking at her on a bigger level, so I'm like, oh, nah, I, I don't want no eyes. She done probably eyed too many rappers. Like, yeah. I know motherfuckers at this time is probably, you know, for features left and right. So I'm like, I'm about to all eyes real quick. So I went back, this guy was like, but write something now. We in there five, huh? I got this beat. It's called Man Nutter. Like, Man Nutter. I was like, like the shit that Mike Epps saying, nigga, like. <laughs> I was like, like, not a man, not a nigga. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody bust out laughing, but I'm zoned in. I'm like, I ain't worried about that nigga. I'm like, damn, nigga. I'm like, boom, straight to the street. Right. I done wrote two verses and had to calm down. Like, I, right, let me say this one for her in the middle. Yeah. Sunny, too. I ain't even do it. I ain't even sing her the third verse. I just sang her the first one. I'm not sang her the first verse. And the hook, she sent me back. Heart eyes, emojis, three, five symbols, and rocket pointing up with the punch out of my hair. Yo, you know, she, 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 she ain't seen that peach. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> boy, let me show them, boy, if I get you in trouble, boy. God. You definitely try to get me killed right now. Y'all see this man, man? Just, <laughs> hey, nah, but for real, man, I'll push it aside. Man, now it comes. It's definitely come on unconscious drop. Unconscious will be here before the end of the year. It's, Nastiest. I'm just, I don't like to put shit on pedestals. See, me and my brother was talking about this earlier, but I will put this on there. My motherfucking album is gonna be, you know, way the fuck up. Here's something what I like. That's what the fuck I put it. I put too much work, time, dedication in it. It's gonna have some crazy features. It's gonna have some crazy shit going on. You niggas, tune in, nigga. Except for the whole time, man. I don't know the fuck Okay, okay. So you say uh, unconscious? Unconscious. Yeah, since all this uh, country shit, all this nigga, gospel rap, I don't know what the fuck niggas think I'm on. But nigga, listen, I'm about to get it to y'all niggas in 3D, raw, uncut fashion. Whoop up, pirates, pot drop this shit, watch how I come back type shit. I don't want to really talk about it. I just rather let you guys hear it and see what the fuck I really got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, man, we're going we gonna to switch everything to something positive look real quick. You know what I'm talking about? Like, right. what's your advice for, like, young rappers coming up? Like, the do's and don'ts. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Just, like, just, just give them some real advice. Okay. Uh, do networking. Don't put yourself in a position where you be alone. Or you can't get no help. Um. Do for your community. I don't mean like you gotta do nothing extravagant. But as you grow, do things bigger. You know, you start out you know, picking up trash, helping so many people around, you know, just whatever. But definitely. Um, 
do more research. If you plan on like being into this game, you need to fully understand what's going on around you. Like above you and below you. Like you need to really like seek it. This it's got some, it's a lot of fucking steps. And it's a lot of things that um I watched a lot of artists over time like get weary of and quit. Because once they realize there's so many steps, they don't want to do it no more. So learn your process, like learn what you, like whatever you gonna do. Because it ain't, I ain't just talking to the rappers or the, or the DJs or whatever. Whoever watching this, like learn your occupation, learn your dream before you actually try to start dreaming. Because you can easily like turn your dream into a nightmare by not fully understanding it. So just be aware. Um, don't get caught up with snakes. And that's easier said than done. But I feel like, like my father said, this is a snake. His, it can't hide his tongue no more. So, you know, if it, there's been a sign of somebody or something that's around you that's just like dirty or fucked up in some kind of way, like don't let your mind like be blocked from telling you that this person is fucked up and you need to get the fuck away from them. Get away from them, nigga, because it could be life or death. Nine times out of ten, it is. I'm saying like, um, do great. I don't give a fuck how many times you fail. Like, I know I done failed over a million times. I know niggas done laughed at me while I failed. Walked along the side of me while I was failing. So, but eventually, once I started winning, I'm saying people ended up cheering. So it don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Be like, focus on you. Like I was telling bro earlier, you know, it's okay to be selfish. It's fucked up to be greedy. It's two different things. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta focus. So don't be greedy and make sure, you know what I'm talking about, you paying for that feature. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's one thing you got to do. You know what I'm talking about? He getting your game, but he just wants the feature. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So man, hey Jimmy Lee, man, where, where, where can we find you on social media, man? Look, man, I ain't got no uh, different names. J I M M Y space L E E. That's just that. You type that shit in right there, you gonna see a long headed ass nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of tats coming out of nowhere. You gonna hear a whole bunch of Tourette's and shit like this is and shit like that. Shit you can't understand. It's gonna come out of nowhere. You gonna see like music and video all kind of magic shit like Harry Potter and shit come at your screen like make sure like it's like it's just simple Jimmy Lee you gonna see me like you probably gonna see like seven white men you know what I'm saying maybe a Billy Bob like skip out and then you gonna see me Dust you know what I'm saying the savage <laughs> <laughs> and right now you see you know what I'm saying <laughs> this is Jimmy Lee damn this shit about to run this is Jimmy Lee on uh -huh. 32 Fur TV uh -huh. Oh, bars! <laughs>